My name is Manera El Bumani, uh, formerly incarcerated female who served a total of four years um, incarcerated. Um, what I do right at this present time, uh, I'm a prison advocate and also a female uh, freedom fighter. This was how many years ago all this happened to you? Well, I went to, to jail in 94, so. When did you get out? I got out in 97. So, do you still have memories about all this? Yes. <laughs> so, like, like, how do I, I mean, what are, what are your memories? What do you, what's the worst thing that happened to you? I mean, what do you think about when you wake up at night or in the morning or something? What comes to your mind? For one, <laughs> in spite of all, you know, um, the difficulties that I face trying to remain self-sufficient and um, to be able to uh, fend for myself in terms of, of, of making a living, um, I try so hard <laughs> to stay out of the gates of prison, you know, um, and it's just like a nightmare because it's a struggle, you know, it's a struggle out here. I did everything that I could do in terms of changing my life. Went to college, you know, came home. I never had a degree, dropped out of school. It was kind of difficult for me to like get jobs based based on having a criminal record. And not only that, uh, for being the person that I am, you know, I find it difficult, you know, to get jobs. So it's, it's a struggle, and just realizing that sometime I might fall back into the cracks. You know, the pressures of society, that's my biggest fear. Because I know if I go back to prison again, I'll probably come out in a black man because of some of the stuff that I faced when I was in car What do you mean? This torture. And I really never knew that the torture that I was facing, I, I wouldn't have known some of the things that I was going through in prison. I never read about people who went through the same things that I went through when I, when I was incarcerated.